My name is Christina, matrix number AF213122, and I'll be introducing a little info of our project. Now, there are two types of road pavement, namely rigid pavement, which are made out of Portland cement concrete and it has load distributed by slab action, where the pavement behaves like an elastic plate resting on a viscous medium. Another one is the flexible pavement. It consists of several surface layers of bitumen or asphalt bound aggregate with several lower layers and the load is transmitted to the lower layers grain by grain through points of contact in the granular structure. In this project we'll be focusing more on the evaluation of flexible pavement failures such as fatigue cracking, rusting and thermal cracking and so on. Now we've opted to perform pavement condition index PCI test which is an easy and convenient an affordable way to check the condition of road surfaces. Uh, it allows us to identify the maintenance and rehabilitation needed, and it allows us to also make sure that the road maintenance expeditions are used wisely. These will be the main objectives of our project. The first one is to identify the type of pavement failures along one kilometer road of Taman University Tampai Raja Shahar. Uh, using the pavement condition index PCI. Next one is to determine the suitable maintenance and rehabilitation method to improve the road pavement condition. Okay, hi, I'm Darshan Rao here. My metric number CF210363. Okay, today it, the our project is about the road pavement. Okay, uh, my part is in this project support methodology. Okay, in the methodology, there are a few, a few points. Okay, the first point is about identifying the road condition. Pavement is a fundamental requirement for maintenance or managing the activity. The second is about consistent procedure is necessary for evaluating the road condition. The third is about determining whether it's required can be done after evaluating the condition of a road. And then the fourth is about, the fourth is a main support. Uh, pavement condition index which is known as PCI okay, we have using the PCI method in the project okay our team has been uh, carry out few steps in this project the first thing is about uh, identifying the test sections of the pavement and then the second we all uh, in a group we collect data of the pavement and then uh, we conduct the Pavement con uh, condition index PCI test, and then uh, we have done the calculation of the PCI. Once the calculation has been done, we categorize the pavement maintenance category. Once we get all the data, and we have been concluded and prepare the report. Okay, uh, and then for the PCI uh, method for the test of the pavement, we have been use uh, several equipments and materials which is um, safety vest, safety boot and then uh, odometer, odometer and then uh, measuring tape and then a safety cone at the side to on the on the day of visiting the site okay uh, thank you that's all from me I'm Doris with metric number AF210093. I'm responsible to talk about data analysis. Our project location is at the Jalan University, which is from Gate Masjid UTHM to Jalan University 46. Since interval is 2, we choose section 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10 as our sample unit. Pavement condition index and pavement condition for sample unit are shown as below. I'm Jovi Tata with metric number AF210088. I will talk about the discussion on the result. Sample unit 1 and 2 is the road which is located at the side door of UTHM. Most of this road is used by UTHM students and staff only, therefore not much traffic in this road. For sample unit 3, 4 and 5 is the common area of residents of Taman University. Residents of Taman University apartment and terrace house are born to pass through that road daily. So after a certain time, this call for hole and bum and set. Due to the deficiency of parking inside Taman University apartment, the residents tend to park their vehicle outside the apartment area at the side of the road 
therefore discuss the edge cracking of pavement. Besides that, residents frequently make a U-turn where it caused slippage cracking over a period of time. Next, Sample Unit 6 and 7 is located at the end road of the Dhamma University, which is connected to a new resident area. Therefore, the road of Sample Unit only bears minor traffic since it is only used by some new terrace house residents. Bleeding is found in the Sample Unit 6, which may be caused by the construction which efforts fill the voice of the mix during hot weather and then expand on the placement surface. Sample Unit 8, 9 and 10 is in good condition because it is a new pavement which is located in front of the new terrace house. I am Seraphim Mui Chao En with matrix number AF210118 and I'll be discussing the maintenance or rehabilitation method of different sample units in our project. Roads are necessary aspect of modern life. If it is well maintained, it can improve the safety of road users. A lack of road maintenance will cause a rise in road accidents and a diminish in transport accessibility. Therefore, road maintenance is crucial. In our project, for sample 4, the pavement is in serious condition where reconstruction is recommended from sample unit 3 to 5. A reconstruction project consists of removal of existing road surface, then reconstructing and rehabilitating the road bed which is the layer below the road surface, and lastly, placement of new road surface. Other than that, the problem of car parking disorderly at the side of the road can be solved by painting new parking lot lines. For sample units which have good and satisfactory pavement condition, routine maintenance and preventive maintenance are required to maintain the road condition. This involves repairs of potholes, maintenance of road shoulders, roadside furniture, drainage systems, bridges and culverts, grass cutting, landscaping on protocol roads, and routine inspection. That's all for me, thank you. For conclusion, pavement condition in this is used to check condition of road surface and identify maintenance and rehabilitation. Type of pavement failure at this project location are potholes, edge cracking, slip patch cracking, bumps and sets, depression and bleeding. Pavement conditions for sample unit 2 and 6 are satisfactory, unit 4 is serious, and unit 8 and 10 are good. Maintenance and rehabilitation method is reconstruction for serious condition, while routine maintenance and preventive maintenance are suitable for good and satisfactory condition.